ARG1 um, is now in its 12th year. It started as um, not specifically planned. It was a one-man show. Just woke up one morning and decided to open ARG1. The initials are for my grandfather and my father and myself. ARG, we started it with $3,000 as startup capital on a plastic chair and a plastic table in a borrowed warehouse, not even a rented warehouse. We were blessed with the first job with a very successful businessman to install an elevator. And that was the stepping stone. So uh, uh, along the way, uh, we decided to invest in human capital the same way I could create ARG1. We need more of uh, me uh, to grow ARG. Today we are 250 staff. Today we turn over close to 10 million, 12 million US. Um, our offices have grown and the principle is still the same. We only invest in people. We do not acquire land. We've not built a head office. We invest in people and we invest in the market. And so far it's working. The banks don't like it, but it's working. Uh, we still own it 100%. Myself, we have no partners, even though every year for the first six, seven years, we were uh, hunting and exploring opportunities to invite investors to join. Unfortunately, in the environment we live in in Ghana, we are not a, an appetizing uh, entity for the larger companies. Uh, so how did we grow it? We basically kept the little profit we were making in the business. I did not take out any dividend. I did not have any savings account. We did not siphon any funds to an overseas country, like a lot of foreigners that come in. When they make a dollar, they take it back. Ghana is home. So everything stayed in the company. And that is how we grew an internal cash flow. And we've been able to guarantee all our payments. We've never defaulted the payment. Salary is 100% paid. Even during COVID, ARG1 paid 100% salaries, even during lockdown. Because at the end of the day, if the, 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 the rewards of ARG are not used in times like COVID, then what, what is the whole sense? We'd be interested in exploring what we refer to as strategic investors. We're not looking for cash injection, no. We're looking to partner experience. We're looking to partner uh, knowledge, uh, exposure to other markets, uh, uh, learn more, uh, not specifically financing, no. Maybe an engineering entity, maybe an entity that can provide ARG with financial instruments. You know, we open all our letter of credits from Ghana, all our financial bonds are from Ghana and the fees the banks charge are very high. They average two to 3%. Whereas in Europe, to open a letter of credit, you're looking at 0.2%. So just having a strategic partner to offer financial documents, we immediately save two to 2.5% two to per document. And if you are turning over five, 6 million euros times two to 3%. So that's the sort of the partner we're looking for to, 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 to grow further.